What is up everybody? Life's Apprentice. Um, well, it is Tuesday and uh, we're kind of going through a trans uh, transition time right now. And uh, we have, we're just not very busy to be honest. And uh, so we got one dumpster to do today and uh, I'm going to go run it right now. So we got a 15 yard on here and uh, I got to go get the 10 yard at the yard and uh, get that out to a customer. So make a quick little video here and uh, first time I have driven driven this truck in a long time it has been a while hopefully I remember how to do this we're at the yard and I uh, just want to kind of go over um, how our whole trailer system works so we have um, a gas engine here that runs all the hydraulics um, and then there is a remote here um, you can see I turn it on it is on um, this is your tilt, so this tilts and dumps um, up or down. This is your winch, in or out. Um, this is our jack, so this is a hydraulic jack right here. And uh, this lifts the trailer up on and off of the truck. And then this is for the tarper. This, this makes the tarper go up or down. So for a 10 yard, 15 yard, 20 yard, 30 yard, this goes way up. And then um, underneath here is how we um, open and close the tarper. But this runs off of the battery. There's actually a battery in here. So this doesn't need to be on to tarp. So we are going to turn the choke on because I haven't started it today. Usually you don't once you've had it running. It's uh, electric start. <laughs> really really simple the nice thing about the wireless remote like this it charges on a cell phone charger and then um, it's just super easy to use you can maneuver around your trailer as you're unloading so now you can see we're really close there on this angle um, so what we're gonna want to do is go into the truck and we're gonna drive forward while we're winching out until this is completely off because it's not going to roll off on the gravel or in the snow right now because this is not blacktop or pavement so we're going to have to pull the truck forward as we winch out Well, you can see I'm a little rusty. Laura got it first try yesterday. I did not get it first try. Well, there you have it. I'm a little rusty. Definitely. It took me two tries to get it on. Uh, two times backing up. But um, this is for the 10 yard because the 10 yard is shorter. 
it's the same height and width as our 15 but it's just shorter so when I order 10 yards in the future um, I'm gonna have them make them shorter but the same footprint as the 15 and the 20 yards that way I don't have to use these I think it'll just be easier if this the sides will be shorter for people too um, because ever since I've been marketing this 10 yard when I first got it I couldn't sell it um, but ever since I've been marketing it um, basically with hometown dumpster rental I've been uh, basically renting this thing non-stop or pretty close to it so it's just uh, you know it came with the business when we bought it so I want to put it to use because we have it um, and find out if there's a demand for it and it does seem like there is a demand for the 10 yard just not as much as the 15 and 20s but uh, we will be buying a few more 10 yards here in the future so just got everything uh, all done we're gonna turn off our remote and uh, get this to the customer I don't know how well you guys can see but we're up on a hill this is just a beautiful part of our state it's hard to see on camera but it's just a beautiful part of our state and uh, this is where a lot of your people's milk comes from out here this is farm country out here for sure they call this out here God's country that's the local terminology for this area there's a really really big lake that separates um, my house on the east side of the lake or the west side of the lake to the east side of the lake and back when the settlers first came to Wisconsin and settled this area there were uh, a lot of Native Americans on the west side of the lake and the first settlers were not uh, fighters they were all Christians and uh, so the Indians had settled Native Americans had settled the west side of the lake and all the Christian settlers settled on this side of the lake to uh, to avoid conflict so that's why they call this God's country and it's just beautiful farmland out here well here we are little town Main Street on the back alley here we just uh, set the little 10 yard here for a week try to uh, you can see there's snow in it and stuff like that and how this thing is tilting forward so it's not going to uh, not going to um, the water basically isn't going to be able to get out in all of our dumpsters we do have a hole you can see right there to let water out if it's uh, going forward or leaning forward like this but uh, this time of year I'm just kind of worried about dumpsters freezing in but there's not a whole lot I don't think that we can do about it so here she is all set and good to go in small town uh, USA here see you around it's a cool little town I'll show you some of the scenery on the way back it's just just a beautiful part of our area just amazing views and hills and a lot of cornfields and cows but it's a uh, for us it's pretty pretty incredible and beautiful out here I don't know how well you guys can see it the lake is frozen almost completely over but this is Lake Winnebago and uh, I'm on the east side of it right now and uh, where I live is directly straight across the lake so some of our long dumpsters are because we're going over here Lake Winnebago is 10 miles wide east and west and 30 miles north so as a crow flies where I just went is only like 12 miles away but in reality we have to go all the way around the lake and then east so it causes some problems in this dumpster business but uh, it is definitely a beautiful place to live if you can imagine 12 miles straight across wouldn't be so bad but when we have to go all the way around it, it ends up being like 40 miles well that is it for today um, sold the dumpster for today and sold the dumpster for tomorrow so we are getting a few sales this week um, with Christmas and next year being New Year's on Friday I have a feeling they're gonna be a little bit slower especially in our area with winter uh, pretty much winter is here it doesn't look like it because we don't have any snow but uh, winter is definitely here so probably be the last time I'm in a dumpster truck for a while so uh, I guess I, I enjoyed it while it lasted but uh, if you guys like this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, I will see you on the next one.